do this in the first place. So, for instance, uh, the corporate tax rate being 35, let's say that's high. But we have all these tax loopholes that allow companies like GE, who made $14 billion last year but paid zero taxes. We actually gave them a $3 billion tax credit. So there are ways that companies are gaming our system. All the while, we are in huge debt. We have really high unemployment. Actually, corporations at this moment are sitting on $2 trillion in liquid assets. These liquid assets can be moved. These aren't hard assets. So you can't, they don't have to sell anything. They have that money. So if this money went into programs such as rebuilding our roads, rebuilding our sewer, rebuilding our pipes, our natural gas pipes, they only have life spans of about 50 years. And about 80% of our pipes need to be replaced in the next 10 years. It's a really big investment in the infrastructure. You guys are going to have to visit what happens. Even in your too? Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you saying that, man. I'm not grabbing it. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, right. So you go inside and just like get real close, all right? Yeah, exactly. They push us. Okay. I heard what you said before. Yeah, no, it's, it's super cool. That's how you have to. It's just like a general forum, right? This is, this is like the best way to share information. It's by talking out. And a good example is I was actually walking here by Chase Point Plaza, and I had this. Was my other choice. When, when I walked fast, this is easy to do, right? And I had a woman call me, idiot. I have two master's degrees. I, I work in an engineering job. She didn't ask me one question. She didn't say, why do you think this way? She had an instant emotional reaction. Which, if we all had emotions too, we might be burning the place down. So let's all be reasonable about this. So that's why I came out here with numbers. These numbers. I'm kind of a numbers guy. These numbers are too big to they slap you in the face. They're so true. So there's things that we can do. If we get lobbying out of government, make it illegal like it was in the 50s, and we have a more equitable tax rate like we used to have in the 50s, I think it would solve a lot of our problems. Thank you so much. Hey, if you want to hold a sign, I got an extra one. Come join us. He does. Up here?